One of the oldest systems of natural healing in the world uses hot and cold baths and showers to increase your vitality, balance hormones, beautify skin, tone muscles, clear your mind, and vitalize your nervous system, lymphatic system, and circulation. It quickly brings you a sense of wonderful aliveness and all the while it is dissolving, transporting, and clearing rubbish from your body and your psyche. The father of all water therapies was Father Sebastian Kneipp, a Bavarian priest who first made us aware of water's healing power. When used appropriately, he said, quote, water and herbs can cure almost every disease, unquote. He established Bad Voroshofen in Germany in 1897, and this was a center where people all over the world came to be healed by special ice-cold baths, walking barefoot in the snow, and other simple but powerful methodologies that are celebrated to this day. I first learned the secrets of water healing in my early 20s after spending many years in a state of ill health, thanks to my having been raised on a terrible diet. It was based on huge bowls of breakfast cereals piled high with white sugar, horrid fast foods eaten at 5 a.m. in truck divers' cafes all over America, and lots of other junk. No wonder I was unhealthy. However, what I learned from the generosity of some brilliant British and European doctors who practiced natural medicine, well, this turned my entire life around. And this was how I came to work in, write about, and teach natural methods of healing. It's also how I came to visit Kneipp Centers for Hydrotherapy, which, by the way, still continue to thrive, especially in Germany. In many ways, the most important of all I learned was how powerful healing with simple water techniques, it's amazing, for improving your health at any time. Let me share with you one of these techniques. Do try it and let me know how you get on. There are many more, but let's begin with this one. (sighs) Thanks to water's chemical and bioelectrical properties and to your body's physiological and energetic responses to them, water therapy is a superb method for cleansing, energizing, and restoring great functioning to any tired or aging body. The technique of using alternative applications of hot and cold water is called contrast hydros. If you have not yet experienced the turn-on that it offers, you have a real treat ahead. After a workout, athletes use hydroelectrics in the form of contrast baths and showers to strengthen their body and, and prevent muscular damage and eliminate aches and pains. Contrast hydros not only help clear wastes and vitalize, they also bring nutrients and oxygen to areas of your body that need them, and they balance your energies and and help protect you from stress-induced damage. Okay, here's how. Apply hot water to your whole body for three or four minutes in the form of a hot bath or a shower. Follow with 30 to 60 seconds of cold water, and repeat the procedure three times. You see, the application of cold water needs to be just long enough to make blood vessels constrict, and this can take place in as little as as 20 seconds. Cold water triggers your sympathetic nervous system to energize, while hot water intensifies your parasympathetic activity for real relaxation. The combination of the two makes you feel great. It's very important, however, that you start slowly, increasing the length of your exposure to hot and cold water very gradually. If you happen to have a separate bath and shower, you can use the bath for one temperature application, the shower for the other, moving back and forth. During the summer, make your bath cold and your showers hot. During the winter, reverse this. Like any natural treatment, contrast hydros need to be followed carefully and wisely to get all the benefits, and to make sure that no harm is done. You'll probably find at first that a plunge into cold water or a cold shower is a shock to your body, but soon this will turn into an experience of total pleasure. It's always the first cold application that is the hardest. The biggest barrier, by the way, to getting into cold water is a psychological one. 
Once you leap this hurdle, you'll find yourself eagerly looking forward to your daily treatment. But here are a few important cautions. Always check with your doctor before beginning any natural treatment to make sure that it's appropriate for you. He or she may advise you not to use contrast hydros if you have any kind of heart condition or nervous disorder, a high blood pressure, for instance, if you're an insulin-dependent diabetic or suffer from hardening of the arteries. Make sure your body is warm always before beginning. The room should be well heated. Don't let your body ever become chilled during the treatment, and if you feel yourself becoming too cold, stop immediately and get into a hot bath or shower until you warm up fully. Always begin with a hot application and end with a cold. Start slowly with two or three minutes of hot application, followed by, say, 20 seconds of cold. Then, As your body gets used to contrast hydros, increase the time of the cold applications up to one minute, or even two or three minutes if you're extremely fit or an athlete. When you finish, dry your body well and dress warmly. I would love to hear how you get on, so that I can share with you other hydroelectric treatments that cost virtually nothing, but can be wonderfully life-enhancing. 